Welcome to Flipside Market Singapore Galaxy Masterclass. Okay, so today's lesson is really just uh, to run you through some of our features, right? Some of the things that we can do to make our uh, life a bit more productive in when we are using our tablet. Some of these things actually you can do on your for those who are using a phone, right? You can also use uh, some of these features on your phone itself. Doesn't necessarily have to be a uh, tablet centric. Right, so first up, we'll go into, maybe start to talk about where does this uh, multitasking start off from? So Paddy, could you, uh, you know, arrange us to the place where we can start a little bit of uh, multitasking for the pop-up? Okay, so any of you, okay, uh, maybe, maybe for, for the two uh, younger audience here, um, do you all do online classes? Yeah. No? Yeah, yes, uh, okay, okay. So it, let's say you're on in an online class, right? Um, and you're watching your online class, maybe on Zoom, on Teams, right? And you would like to take notes while you're watching your or doing your online class, okay? What are some of the things that we can do, right? Right, so we're going to pull out our S Pen. So our S Pen is a part of the box when you pick out any of our tablets. It's an S series uh, tablet, all right? If you have a... You can try it on your phone also, can you? <laughs> yes, the phone, if you have the case and the S Pen, that's great. All right, let's uh, show them first how is it to be done, the note taking. How do we do that? Okay, so first you can drag and then drop and open up a pop-up window. Okay, so for those who have four, right, there's a taskbar at the bottom, you can just simply drag and drop it. So I'm just going to show you again. Okay, so you open up a taskbar, drag and you drop to the middle, right, it will say pop, drop here for pop-up view, right, so you drop it in and you open up your Samsung notes. Okay, so this is for, for convenience while you're watching your online um, class, right, mm -hmm. and you want to take notes, okay, you can simply just move this around wherever you see fit. Okay, so now for example, I want to Great. write notes, okay, so notes for online class, okay. So if we don't have a taskbar, right, we can go into settings, display, and taskbar. Okay, so this is the first step, right, into multitasking. So, really, success. For you to be able to just do your multitasking. Yeah, your notes is already at the top, right? Ah, right, yes. <laughs> okay, so you can move it anywhere you want and at any point of time, if you feel like, okay, I want to watch the training session. Right? Let me just mute that. Uh, I, want, I don't want anything to be interrupting my screen. You can just simply throw it to the side. It will actually hide at the side. Okay, only when you need it, you tap on it and then you will pop it up. Wait, Betty, Betty, can you show again one more time okay. how it works? Let's do it again. Ah. Okay, so you drag the, this, see this part? This one. Right? You press okay. and hold on it. You can drag it anywhere you want. You can just throw it to the side and then you'll be there. So when you bring it to the corner, right, it, it hides the pop up. Mm. Okay. So just to run you through some of the things that we can do on our S Pen. So other than just typing or for your notes, okay, there's this thing, we can also do handwrite, handwritten notes. Mm -hmm. Or if you see this icon here, this is handwrite to text. Okay, so mm -hmm. if you are the kind that love handwriting, okay, you are, you are too, so used to handwriting your notes, okay, but you want it to be in text forms, text form, so you can still copy and paste to send it to someone else, okay, mm -hmm. you can do that, all right? You just need to tap on this and then you can start writing. Maybe I write some song. And then you will appear as text. Yes. So how many of these can we have? How many? Um, we can try. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I scared already. <laughs> okay. So we can have quite a few. In fact, we can have five applications uh, pop up at the same time. Of course, you know, the larger the screen, the more effective it is. Uh, if you have a fold, maybe two or three is about the max that you can mentally handle before we start to like you know, lose track of where all these pop-ups are coming from. Okay, so uh, Betty, I think that, that's a lot. Okay, okay. can. Uh, <laughs> you hide too many, you also forget which is the apps that you use, right? So applications that is very useful could be calculator. You know, if you're playing game, you want to min-max, you need to hide the calculator, okay? You have Excels that you want to reference later on. Okay, so these are some of the things that you can do. Pop-up, good. Okay, so say for example, you don't want to do pop-up, right? You want it to be a split screen. Right, you can do that as well. Okay, so from your pop-up, like now I have this pop-up open. Okay, I want to turn it into a split screen. How can I do that? Okay, so first you tap on this blue line at the top. Tap. Yeah, tap ready. Okay. Somebody needs to clean the TV later. <laughs> okay, tap and hold. 
and then you drag it to where you want to split screen. Okay, uh, so left or right, Paddy? Which one right better? Side. Right side better? Because I prefer to right or right. Oh, okay, sure. Okay, then you will automatically turn into a split screen. You can actually open up to three apps at one time. Okay, so I'm just going to open up another note. See, from my taskbar, I just drag and drop. Okay, so you press simply and hold. open up a split screen. Yeah, press and hold the, the, the note icon. app. And then I drag it to another corner. Okay. Okay. Three. Three hmm. apps. So up to three apps at one go. So you can reference to previous uh, older notes that you have made. And of course, you can also create new notes at the same time. Uh, it could be recipe. It could be your uh, tutorial for your games. Okay, there's different ways to go about it. So say, for example, now I want to copy. Uh, I want to... Okay, the lecturer is showing something on the screen. Right, and I just want to screenshot it. I don't want to. I, I want to type it out. It's a bit troublesome, right? So you can tap if you have an S Pen. Okay, you can just bring your S Pen close to your screen, and you press the button on the S Pen. Okay, you actually uh, this pop up will come up. Yeah, so the air command will pop up. There's yeah. no there's no name written here, but it is air command. Okay, it's called air command. All right, so there's this thing called Smart Select. Right, so what Smart Select does is you can actually Tap on it, okay, say I want to take a screenshot of whatever I'm watching, okay, so tap on Smart Select, I drag on the area I want, you will take a screenshot of it. Once it's captured, you have the option of sharing it immediately, or you can draw on it, you can also just download it as per normal, or save it, right? Okay, but in this case, today, uh, we are showing you how to drag and drop it into your notes itself. Okay, so once you Smart Select, you press and hold, you go to your notes, and just drop it. So you just drop it on this. Ready? Like magic. Can you show again? Sure. Okay. Press and hold this on one? the image itself. All right. Wait for this to pop up. Then you drag. It's like a little ghost. Go to your note. Drop it. Wow. And now you can shift it around on your app itself. This is great for like scrapbooking as well. So not just for work, but also for you know if you're planning your next trip and you want to screen grab some information, very important. And this could be it, like planning uh, your events and stuff. Okay, so just to run you through some of the new features that is available on our latest devices, which is the 4.5, Flip 5, our Tab S9. Okay, so if you want to drag and drop between apps, but you mm -hmm. don't want to open a split screen, you can do that as well. This is called the two-handed drag and drop. Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate how to do that. So you, we close everything, and now we close everything. Reset, reset. Okay. Uh, reset. Okay, so say I go to gallery, I already have this screenshot. Right, I want to copy it onto my notes. I don't want to open up. Uh, a split screen. Okay, so what I can do is I press and hold on the image I want. This one. Right. So similarly, you see this. Okay, it appears as a ghost, lah. Okay. Don't so, let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. So yeah. you use one hand, okay, to tap on the image that you want to copy. Your other hand. Now I'm just gonna use my other hand. I'm gonna tap on Samsung Notes to open it up. Okay. So I'm still holding on to this. See, with my one hand, and then the other hand, I just navigate. To where I want to. Okay, so I tap on my previous note. I simply go to where I want to put it, and then I just let go. So just drop. Okay, so this feature is only available for Tab S9, uh, Z45, and Z Flip 5. So our later devices. When you look for the but look for this hovering button right here. It's, it looks like a pen. It's a bit of a greyish or purplish color, depends on your tablet. Okay, you can click on that. Oh, you, you, can you help me, Paddy? You can click on it and look for this thing called screen right. Okay, so smart, smart select, right? You select what you want, but screen right is the whole screen. Yeah, does it make it faster? Can, can I show again? the steps yeah. again? Mm -hmm. Step one, this one. Step two is the screen right. Okay. And this is a full uh, screenshot. If you're, you're okay with it, then you hit download. Yeah. So this download icon, right? So once you tap on that, you will automatically save to your gallery. Okay, so now we go in and we see. Mm. Right, there's tons of the same thing. Yep, and it's there. In, in gallery. Okay. So these two are actually our most popular S Pen features, Smart Select and also Screen Write. Yeah, so from like maybe five years ago and uh, older, right, these are the things that people still use the most to this day.
Alright, so two-handed drag and drop is not necessarily on dragging and dropping files as well uh, only. Okay, if for example you want to customize your home screen, right, and usually if you want to move icon from one home page to another, this is how we usually do it, right? So say for example I want to move my gallery, I tap and hold, I drag, I go to the right side, and then I drop it. You have experienced this before, right? Okay, so now with two-handed drag and drop, right, what happens is you don't have to do that anymore. Right, so say for example, I'll move my gallery back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I press and hold. Right, I use my another hand. Okay, I swipe back. I drop it. Okay, so no longer you have to drag your icon all the way to the right and then bring it to the next page, especially if you're using a tablet as big as mine. Okay, <laughs> so it, it will be quite a distance like, if you want to move it all the way to the corner. Okay, you just drag and drop, use another hand, swipe to the next home page, then you drop it. As simple as that. And of course, once you customize to the apps that you actually use, that is way faster for you to access, right? Yeah. So if you're wondering, like, where does the taskbar applications come from? How come you have notes and other things? Like, maybe yours is a bit different, right? So the taskbar comes from the first bar at the bottom. So if you customize this, that's your taskbar. Mm. Plus, for up to four other applications that you recently opened, that's not in the taskbar. Right, so yeah, so there we go. So we have two recent applications. Yes, it's gone, and it's back. Okay, so and these are the first page, right, the bottom row. So customize that for me. I put like WhatsApp on my phone and things like, uh, on my phone, mm. right. So these are some of the things that you can do to can make the uh, experience way more productive for yourself. Okay, so now we move on to a little bit more advanced. Okay, so just now we talk about dragging and dropping within the tablet itself, right? So you can drag and drop between different apps, but it's within the tablet. How about dragging and dropping your files between two devices? Is that possible? Oh, some of them are shaking their head, they say no. <laughs> <laughs> Have you all tried it before? Dragging and dropping between multiple devices. No, right? okay. okay. So let's try that. Huh? Okay, so first, okay. Um, just to run you through a bit of uh, background okay, uh, and context, in order to do that, your multiple devices have to be connected to the same Samsung account. Mm -hmm. Say for example, now I have my Tab S9 as well as my Z4 5. Okay, these two are running on the same Samsung account. Once it's done, okay, so you first you can go into settings on your tablet. Yeah, look for this. Uh... Connected devices. Yeah. Okay, so settings, connected devices. Okay, so you see this thing called multi control right and the link to windows yeah okay, make sure it's toggled on can you click on it let's see what's inside the settings oh it's the of course samsung account <laughs> right it has to have a samsung account for it to work yeah, right so that is my samsung account this one is connected to the same samsung account so now if both devices are connected to the same samsung account you go to connect phone you will actually see the phone so although yeah. you might not be able to use this for a very previous generation phone so if you're up to date to some of the latest software then you're good yeah but because this is a newly launched software mm. Mm. so mo a lot of devices will get it in the future so in order for this to happen right your wi-fi bluetooth and multi-control all has to be toggled on <laughs> plus later software mm. yes plus the latest it will software. come uh, in the future update yep okay yes mm. Okay, so currently if you're using a full 5 or a flip 5, you can do that. But for older phones, you have, uh, we have to wait for that. Not, not yet. Yes, not yet. It will be coming, but not yet. Okay, so next time when you update your phone, okay, so you go to connect phone, you connect your device. They say, hey, you know, connecting the device, okay, seems good, but we need to know like where in the, uh, where does the phone, uh, how does it work? Uh, where, where, what's going on right now? Is, is it set up? Okay, it's so once simple. you see that it's connected, right? Show you something. Uh, so see, this is my mouse. Uh, okay. okay. So uh, I'm the handy dandy assistant. Uh, let's, let's hold it. Let's make it bigger. Ah, uh, show off. Uh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so see my mouse? I can actually drag to the right side and it will come to my phone. Do you all see that? Can you see? No, they see the mouse. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, really, really got mouse. Uh. Got mouse. Uh. Oh, really? Really got mouse, eh? Got mouse, eh? Got mouse, eh? Okay. And if, say for example, if you bought the tablet with the book cover keyboard that has that trackpad, you can use that trackpad to control your phone. So you don't have to have a secondary mouse in that case. Yeah, and one of the benefits of doing that is that when you have 
let's say WhatsApp on your phone, right? And you want to fire off a quick reply, you don't have to break your continuity and like, pick up the device to switch to typing uh, with your fingers, right? So you have your big keyboard, you can fire off things really, really quickly, mm -hmm. right? So this is how your mouse, right? You can click on the phone's WhatsApp and then you just reply mm -hmm. straight from the keyboard. Yeah. Okay, just to give you a scenario, right? Say, for example, I'm working on my notes, okay? And I find something interesting. Uh, around me, and I want to take a photo, I want to put it into my notes on my tablet. So what I can do, say, using my phone, okay, I can take a photo of Nasir. Oh, right? Okay. okay, so now, I go into gallery, okay, sorry. Yeah, I drag, sorry. Um, okay. Assistant, assistant. <laughs> okay, so I go to the right side, right, so now I can just press, hold, and I drag it to wait, wait, wait. notes. Okay, so not just from phone to tablet, you want to do from tablet to phone, also possible. So for example, now I open WhatsApp, I want to send nice image back to him. What? Right, okay, now I can send. Great, now I have a photo of me. Okay, so not just phone to tablet, tablet to phone as well, vice versa. Alright, so basically the whole idea is you can use your mouse, your uh, your keyboard to control either devices. That's so really the value add of uh, your tablet's connectivity to other devices. Shall we go to the settings? Okay. Actually, one thing that we could have done better, right? Immediately right off, you notice this setting, it says phone on the right. Yeah. If only the phone is on the left. All oh, right. Yes. Right, or so below. I'm used to using the phone on the right, right? Okay, so it's easy. He doesn't want to change the setting. Huh? Later, he has to change it. <laughs> <laughs> but you can change to the left. On top. You want to change above, also can. Okay, so you scroll your mouse up instead. Relative to the Okay, so I device. go up, it goes to my phone. Okay, yeah. so it depends on where you want to put it. Okay, so not necessarily has to be on the right. All four sides of your tablet. Alright, so show you something useful as well. Okay, so have you tried Dex mode before? Try but no. Okay, so we talk about Dex. Okay, so okay, so let's say let's go into Dex. Okay, so you scroll down, you see this. Dex. Okay, so you can tap on Dex and you open up Dex. And Dex works for tablet, uh, flagship tablet, flagship phone, like including Fold and uh, S series. Yeah, but of course, phones you can't see this interface on your phone. You have to see it on a monitor or a TV. Right. Whereas in the case of a tablet, you have two options. One is to use it, use Dex on the screen itself, or you can mirror it like what we're doing here mm. to show you what it looks like. Okay, so the whole idea of Dex is really to give you the PC-like experience and interface on your tablet itself. Okay, so what is a useful use case for this? Um, any of you tried opening up multiple windows of the same app before? Like for example, you're working on Excel and you're, you try to open two Excel workbooks at the same time on your tablet. Okay, so that is possible. Ah, not possible. Okay. Yes, on PC possible, right? Okay, but on tablet it's not possible mm -hmm. because you're you're running an app on its own. Okay, so index mode, this actually gives you that advantage of running multiple windows of a single app. Okay, so now I open a PowerPoint app, right? So if you open a PowerPoint on a tablet mode, okay, and you want to open another PowerPoint, it will actually just overlap. Okay, you will replace the original app, a PowerPoint that you have opened. But in this case, when you open up Dex mode, okay, I can actually open multiple. So for those who, based on my experience, right, will have multiple PowerPoints like us, open just for reference, copy and paste. So this really turns it into a very nice, portable, laptop-like experience. Mm. And in the case of someone who's a bit more data hungry, you have a lot of Excels to work with, right? This is great. Because I know people who have like 10, 20 Excels uh, loaded in the background on their PC. And that's the main reason why they don't want to go into a tablet. They're not even considering it. But with these tablets, you can.